Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm starting off with the eyeballs. I'm going in with a little bit of Sephora, well, not a little bit, a good amount of Sephora uh, concealer, which has been my favorite. It is super lightweight, but it has amazing coverage. And then I set it with a little bit of translucent powder. And then we are going to be using a lip liner on the eyeballs just to add like a, as this kind of sticky base, almost like when you add some gel liner and then you smoke it out this is kind of the same idea because that is the only thing that i had in this really beautiful cherry berry kind of color and then we are smoking it out with this makeup forever eyeshadow and i'm really going in and just kind of blending it and buffing it because taylor hill's look it almost looked like a liner like a wing liner but like not really it was kind of in between and not very precise and perfect and I truly love that about this look that it's not perfect and then I'm going in with a little bit of an eyeshadow that's just kind of a bone color all over just to give that really smooth transition and kind of make it very very soft and then I went in with a little more of that eyeshadow to deepen the very lash line and then I added a little pop of this glittery kind of eyeshadow to the very center it's almost there but not really but in the light it just catches and it reflects super beautifully and then i'm going in with this dr brandt baggage no more under the eyeballs which i don't really know how i feel about yet to be honest and then i used my favorite smashbox primer um, mostly where i get big pores which is just like the center of the face and then i'm going in with some foundation a lot of foundation because she has such flawless looking skin and so i wanted to mimic that i did apply like a good layer all over and then i applied a little bit more on just the areas that needed it which is where i have like those pimples or a little extra redness but i wanted to keep the foundation quite light so that it looked somewhat natural and like my own skin because i think that this whole idea of like a more like soft look like this is to have very soft natural looking skin and then i went in with that same sephora concealer under the eyes and evened it out with a little bit on the chin and the nose and then i'm taking off all that foundation on my lips i'm always very messy when i'm applying my foundation and then i'm going in with powder and i'm baking under the eyes and around the nose but i'm not really baking like the standard way where you leave the powder on i'm actually really pushing the powder in under the eyes to really kind of help set but not bake necessarily because recently i haven't been able to bake because i feel like it really dries my skin out and then I put a little powder all over the face just very lightly and then I'm going in with blush and I'm not going to be contouring or anything for this look because I feel like that's what she had going on it's just very very soft just some blush on the cheeks a little bit on the forehead a little on the nose and a little on the chin and then highlighting everywhere because i just want that very healthy glowy looking skin now for the highlight i wanted it to be kind of all over the place i wanted it a little bit everywhere i wanted that sort of all over glow so i did target certain areas a little bit extra but i put some like on the cheekbones down the bridge of the nose on the forehead on uh the like the what is it called the bridge of the nose but then i targeted little areas like the tip of the nose and like the apples of the cheeks a little bit more so i get like that all around glow and then i'm going in and i'm filling my eyebrows in with a little bit of powder just very very lightly i wanted kind of a feathery brow look i wanted them to look very natural but just a little bit enhanced and the brow gal products are amazing i love them and then i went in with mac this is like this right here fix plus is everything to me i use it every single day i go through bottles of this stuff you guys this is my most most important step to everyday makeup because i feel like it just melts all the powder and all the makeup so well and it makes my skin look more like skin and you guys know my skin is my biggest insecurity and i do wear foundation and i wear a lot so i find that fix plus just helps so so much with my skin looking so much better fresher and more glowy and then i went in and i am 
piling on the mascara i did make sure to curl my lashes prior because we are going to be just rocking our natural lashes i think the beauty of a look like this is the more natural the better and the less the better so we do have like that beautiful color on the eyes but it's soft you know and i feel like that's very model-esque and why taylor hill is so just like classically beautiful and i i just love it you guys i love this look so much i love that you can rock some color but it's still natural and subtle and soft and then i'm going in and i'm lining my lips so we are going to be actually wearing a red lip and taylor had more of like a deeper kind of berry red lip but i wanted a bright red lip because i felt like it's summertime and i want a more like pop of a red but with this i i feel like you can wear any lip color from a nude to a berry to a bright red and then i did layer up just a little bit of a deeper red because i felt like it was a little bit too bright so i added just a little bit of a deeper shade of red but like i said you can honestly wear any lip color with this and i think it would look beautiful and then i'm going in and i'm curling my lashes after the mascara which i think is key and very important do you see the difference you see that difference girl yes that's the difference it makes when you curl your lashes after your mascara dries i find that my curl stays way longer it does go down just a little bit within like a few minutes but it stays curled quite long and that's it that's the look i hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you in my next video bye